Today we have another sleigh that didn't quite go my way. So if you want to see what I'm talking about, just keep watching. Before we jump into everything, I do have a couple disclaimers. First things first, y'all, I'm trying to say all this week, but Trey could, you know, be doing some things or two when I'm doing a voice voiceover and his piece. I'm sorry. I'm, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and say I'm sorry. I apologize in advance. Also, this video is not sponsored yet. I did pick up all the items that I'm using today with my own Cohen. So if you really want to see all the stuff that I picked up for you, let's just jump into it. Let's get into this, love. So, loves, I was super excited to bring y'all this video. It was a different company, different week, okay? I had my hands prepped and ready to go. I even brought out hand candy. I have on an actual wedding band. It's real. I paid good money for it. No, I'm not married, okay? I'm not married. I just use it as a prop. And no, I didn't buy it for YouTube. I'm just throwing it out there, too. <laughs> Anywho, today we were going to be working with Sally Hansen. So I've been putting over on the community tab here on YT and probably on IG about, you know, nails that y'all seen that are festive, like, let me try it out. Okay, only one subby actually reached out and like, follow directions, so thank you, hun, and told me about this nail. Now I'm thinking it was a collection because I went searching high and low at all the Walgreens in my local area and this is the only one I seen. Now there was a collection of nail polish, but y'all know me, I would take press-ons over nail polish. So this style is called Sugar Coat, and this is um, in the medium length and it's in the almond shape. So I do like this packaging because I love the fact they have that display screen so you can try them out before buying them. Because you know how sometimes a certain style or a certain color, it looks cute in the pack, but then when you put it next to the bill, you like, it's not giving what it's supposed to give. So I definitely do love that. Now, like I said, I did pick this nail up from Walgreens. Um, you can find them in several other places. I have it listed in my Amazon storefront. And I also have their old collection that I have reviewed and gave nice reviews on, okay? It's also linked under my regular press on nails. Now, inside this pack, you get 24 nails. You get an alcohol prep pad. You get glue. You get adhesive. You get a manicure stick. You get a dual nail file and buffer. So, we do love all of those extra goodies that come in the pack just in case we're doing this on the go, which clearly the package looks like you can take it on the go, on a plane, on a train, in the back of an Uber, okay? Now, this after taxes was $13. It was a little steep for me for this to be a plain press on nail like Sally Hansen. Your other nails were between $7 to $10, so why? Why? We want to know. But anywho, um... So those are the, pretty much the things about the nails. If you want to score them for cheaper, like I said, they're listed down below in the description box. And if you want to score the older one, also down below. So um, this is how it's looking. As you can see, it's giving very Christmas, very New Year's alike with the vibe. So I was honestly here for it. I wanted to try a different brand each week and not the same one y'all always see. So right here, I'm going to show you on my thumb how is it fitting. And this is why I recommend it before. Y'all, it fits sidewall to sidewall, and we love that. Um, definitely with this being an almond shape, yay! Okay, so if you have a larger nail bed, this is for you. If you have a longer nail bed, this is for you. And even if you have a small boutique nail bed, it's still for you. So this is how my nails are gonna be looking. Like nothing too, too crazy, right? So when we come into applying, I already have my base coat, uh, not base coat, pull it off base coat. Um, like I stated down, I always use this whether I do gel X or if I do glue or any other method, like even acrylic, because I, I need the nails to come off, okay? So they generally work, I don't have a problem. But today, film, getting this for you loves, we had 
a problem. Okay, Houston, we have a problem. So, first of all, let's start deducting points. Yes, the price. I'm deducting that already. So that's one. Two, why I didn't y'all know I shorten everything for your viewing pleasure. Okay. I can't leave everything in here because the video will run on long and this is already a long video for me. Um, and when it comes to editing cars, she don't feel like doing that. So first, as y'all can see, is this pinky is crooked. The second thing I did not like about it was this doggone glue. The glue was not pre-opened. I do not like that. Y'all know how I feel. If I was doing this on a go, I don't always have scissors with me, okay? I don't have a pen to get it open. It's just, it's a hassle. I'm liking the ease, the comfort of things. Um, even though this nail does fit sidewall to sidewall, it fits great in the cuticle area as it should, I was just starting to have problems. The third thing, I applied the thing on Cricut because the glue was taking too long to adhere. If you actually read the bottle, it says it was fast acting. Fast where? I don't know because it literally took me probably 20 minutes to get that pinky nail down and I got it down incorrectly. This is why I say it's easier when you're sitting down watching TV because I'm actually doing that. I will be showing you love. Um, this is like my me time. So I decided to switch glues. We tried a kiss glue because kiss glue never fails me. But I don't feel like it's glue in general unless it's past its shelf life. If y'all actually read the back of the packages, it will say, you know, six months, 12 months, 24 months. That's because the glue has a shelf life, okay? The nails don't, the glue do. That's why I always say have extra glue, okay? For times like these. So today was that day. So I tried that. I'm not, I kid you not. I kid you not. It took me 30 minutes to get this ring finger on. I'm getting re mad as I'm doing the voiceover. <laughs> so it still went on that right because if you can see on this side right here, it wasn't quite to the sidewall, but whatever. And like y'all can see the air bubbles in there, it just wasn't giving. So I was like, okay, it's down. We don't care. It's early in the morning. I'm going to show y'all how early in the morning it is too in a minute, right? So I'm like, I'm not going to get frustrated. I'm not going to get toured. You know, a lot of things just came up, whatever. We're going to get stuff done, right? Because I had to edit this day too. Like y'all seen last week's video when I left out so many important details on it. So, right? Doesn't matter. We got we to keep moving, right? So I'm trying to hold this nail down. I kid you not. I kid you not. I kid you not. I was holding this nail down for 45 minutes. I know it was because I watched a good bit of like two vlogs and I know they were like 20 minutes a piece, right? I'm showing you right here how it look. And it looked like that nail on, but if you look at the base of that, it is not, that's not a huge air bubble. It just was not on. It was not sticky. I have no clue what the issue was. So I didn't show y'all because I didn't have time for that. I used a Dollar Tree glue. I tried a new glue out that I knew was new. Um, I'm going to bring it to you loves next week because it's all over TikTok. It did not stay down. Now, I didn't know if I had a bad batch. Look what time it is in the morning. It's 0247. I'm annoyed. Okay. I was watching Aaliyah J at this point. Um, so I'm going to actually come in and just tell y'all about it. Like they just, it just wasn't giving. I don't have a clue why it wouldn't stick. It just, I was beyond frustrated at this point. see by now your girl is beyond frustrated okay i am not sure what is going on with these nails as i'm pretty sure i stated in voiceover cara okay y'all i've never had that when it came to sally hansen if you don't know i have them in my collection i decided to do this past weekend a live um tiktok it was my very first live and i was talking about this brand y'all i've I have no cons with it. I don't know now if this was a bad batch, meaning like they could have done something to the other side of the nail. I did not foul it. I felt like I could have tried that, but the nail is already on the thinner side. So I didn't want to do that. I could have done it like a chemical etch as well. I didn't do that either. I'm not sure if that was a bad batch of glue, but I did try like three other glues. One I really won't speak of because I have a video for it and I knew it was new and it had uh, a good shelf life, okay? Um, but the other ones I tried, I tried Kiss. I also tried um, Dollar Tree's uh, glues as well. Y'all, it just was not sticky. Now, please do keep in mind, I had my Peel It Off Base Coast base coat as the base of my nail, but that still should not have been a hindrance at all. I use that pretty much every weekend, that particular brand, because 
it will help me leave the nails on for the entire weekend. And that's generally when I'm trying out stuff or like showcasing stuff. That's how long I need my nails on. So I'm really not sure what the issue was. Now the pinky and the ring finger were the only two I can get on and I couldn't get them off. So like I said, I'm not really sure what the issue was. I did, uh, when I applied pressure, I had to apply it for like, I know what I'm saying, like it's not lasting, but y'all don't see everything because I'm clicking off camera, but I held that nail down for a good 15 to 30 minutes. I'm not joking. I'm watching like some type of TV show, so I'm like literally sitting there holding it. Because you can see at like one side of the side wall where the glue was just not connecting or had an air bubble in there. Those nails were a tad bit translucent, so you know me, I'm trying to let the girlies know like they're getting their best bang for their buck, so I'm trying to have less imperfections as possible. Now keep in mind, nobody that I'm teaching to do this, you might not be a nail tech, you not, might not be an inspiring nail tech, you just probably like everything nails and you're just doing it yourself because of uh, time, money, resources, all kinds of stuff, okay? so. You might be like me. So you might have some, you know, things here and there that you might not like, but you can work on it for the next time. So that's same here. I just want to let you know you can also get the, you know, you can get what you're looking for most of the times, okay? The nails that I got on today, the same thing. So since I'm talking about the nails that we have on for this video, y'all, I had a plan with a plan B because I still had to be festive. I still had to figure out what did I have the most of a holiday collection. So... I was very, very, very disappointed if you ain't understood nothing I said. In the process of this, why that was not working, I don't, like I said, I'm not sure if it's a bad batch, but I do not believe that this brand is bad. They're going to stay in my collection because they are affordable. Um, Sally Hansen has been around for a while, y'all. They've been around like years, okay? And I do mean some years, okay? At this point, some decades because... Uh, <laughs> They have been in the nail game business. I don't know why it's taking them so long to come out with press-on nails. I do feel like their quality can step up. Okay, but we will be seeing that in the years to come, definitely as 2024 rolls in. So this was my plan B on how I had to get some nails for y'all. I'm not going to go into depth because I wanted to let you know some nail days ain't all great okay they're not all gonna be great you're gonna get some frustrations here and there and i really want to show you it happens to the best of us even me okay even me little old me well big old me but you know what i'm trying to say okay so we're gonna jump into my plan b to execute this where you love All in all, my takeaway from this video, y'all, every nail day is not gonna be a great nail day. Okay, and some brands, they have some great nails and then some of them, they're duds, okay? I still recommend Sally Hansen. I like the affordability of them, where you can find them at, different things like that. So as of today, this nail will definitely get a 4.5 out of me, but the company still would now get like a nine out of 10, okay? just because I didn't have such a good time with that particular nail. So I just wanted to put this video out to let y'all know, of course, every nail day, like I just stated, might not be great, but you can still persevere if you have more than one nail kit. So I will highly encourage you, if you haven't caught all this time that I've been saying during nail mas, okay, as we're on our second week of nail mas, that it's better to have a couple of nail kits just in case you run into something like this. It could be a glue issue, it can be they didn't have enough sizes in there, just because how fast they're manufactured, okay? So I highly encourage that you do that. Now y'all already know, comment down below if you actually tried out Sally Hansen, how did it work out for you? Would you still recommend this brand? What would you recommend them? Now, since I switched brands, I want to know what do y'all think about my nails? Because I did do the gel X method with this. They still eat it. I did put on a builder gel and a top coat on top because it gives it the extra shine. Um, and I still put the peel it off base coat. But I do give these nails right here a 10 out of 10. They like mini grabbers, okay? So they work for everybody, whether you have a small petite nail bed or a large nail bed. But I really want to hear from you and I'm going to be down in the comments below because I want to know what y'all think.
up looking. Yes, I still did the Gel X method for that. Um, so I just wanted to show y'all, you know, there's some ups and downs sometimes in your nail journey. Now, if you love videos like this, please, y'all already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Definitely subscribe to the Slay family because sometimes I want to hear y'all woes too. I can't be the only one over here ready to throw the camera, throw the glue, throw the towel in, okay? So please join the Slay family. Also, follow me on my other socials. You can find me on IG and TikTok. I'm very active on both of those platforms as well. And you get to see a lot of things that I may not debut over here, okay? That's dealing with fashion and take all kinds of things, all right? Now, with me saying all of that, okay, don't forget the most important reason why I'm here, okay? That's for you to save some coins. I really would like for you to look great but put some coins up because you never know what life can throw at you. And during this holiday season, remember the two things I've been saying in each and every video. Do not go broke during this Christmas season. It's not worth it. Some people need a hug, a text, a phone call, anything like that. Also, don't get into debt and try to pay it off next year. That's not what this channel is about. It's about putting up money, okay? But spending just a little in a very great way where you can maximize your budget, okay? So please don't forget that. Now, with that, don't forget the most important message that's in this video, which is, the verse of the day and that God loves you and so do I but in the meantime there's always more videos to catch up on so until next time loves bye